I'm gonna go ahead and warn you guys that there's going to be some weird and probably disturbing imagery in this game. It's gonna be kind of spooky, but other than that, I really do hope that you have a good day, and I hope that you enjoy this adventure with me. Hello? Is there, is there any blood for me to drink around these parts? Because I am parched. There will be some cool music that goes with this. It's not here yet, but it will be here soon. Howdy ho everyone, I am Nathan Blake and welcome to Seven Days in the Fire Mountain. This is a really neat looking little spoopy game that I'm super excited about. I knew her since a long time ago. She was the most passionate and cheerful person I have ever- Ah! What? Oh, gross. Gross. She had this ridiculous laughter. She'd love to laugh at everything. My jokes, cat videos, unfortunate events, anything. But she loved to dream the most. Aw, oh, it's, it's baby. She once told me she dreamed for a long journey in a quiet, peaceful place, in a mountain surrounded by trees, bird, and lovely children. Ah, right, now there's monkeys. What is happening? But she never even had time for a vacation. She's busy working to achieve her dreams. Things became tougher. Things became more difficult. She became someone else. I thought I knew her better. Her love for her dreams became hatred. I knew it from her eyes. She's tired. I found her standing near the window. Her gaze was fixed on the mountain beyond the horizon. I should have known earlier something is calling her. Okay. On that day, without even saying a goodbye, she left to the fire mountain. Wow, this is pretty. Wow, okay. I'm not... I don't really know what's what this is at all this is way weird like super weird compared i this is the screenshots look like this and so i didn't expect anything like that that was really interesting i don't really know how to interpret it exactly i'm sure as we play the game we'll figure it out more hey are you ready yet let's get going fire mountain awaits oh okay oh so i'm her i'm the her that they talked about who's off to Fire Mountain. Her, her walk cycle is weird. Kind of spoopy, actually. Well, what's off this one? What's off? Oh, that was a really cool parallax shift. I like that. That was cool. Reminded me of Mode 7 back in the day, you know? Like... In old games where the camera would, like, swoop over in this 32-bit era. Don't forget to watch over yourself. Oh, I've got HP. I didn't... Oh, oh, I, it's going down. Why is my health going down? What if I, how do I recover HP? Uh, is this just like a sprint as fast as you can sort of scenario? Like a timed thing? That's weird, but it does give you like a sense of urgency. Like that's something that uh, a lot of 2D games uh, fail to to uh, think about is that like in a 2D space, it's harder to uh, intonate a feeling of fear. So a lot of times if you give people like a feeling that the game is really difficult and and scary and stuff, that that helps a lot with that. So like putting the stress of a timer going down and me dying definitely helps with the spoopy. Look. How lucky we got something fresh and warm to eat. What? You don't have much appetite? You know we don't have many choices in this forest. You've got to eat to sustain yourself. Remember your dream, reach the fire mountain. So is that just blood? Is that what that is? Or is it like, a uh, gift from the sky helps you regain a bit of your strength and si- Oh, oh weird, the camera backed out when I did that. That's neat. Funny looking monkey statue doesn't want to listen to you. Hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. That's the, uh, I can't remember what like sort of philosophy it is. I think it might be Taoism. I'm I'm not sure. I can't remember for sure, but the the basic concept is is you should well, I don't know enough about it for me to speak on it. So you can look it up for yourself if you'd like. It's called Hear No Evil, See No Evil, Speak No Evil. This way leads to the Fire Mountain. Don't hesitate now. You know you're ready. The concept of my camera backing out whenever I get health is really interesting. Like uh, this idea that it like it changes your perspective, perhaps give you more sight is is interesting. And I'm sure it does have something to do with the fact that you already hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Likely it plays into this that idea. Oh, that was the other one. 
Funny looking monkey statue doesn't want to talk with you. Okay, so that's the speak no evil statue. So now we're just going to find the see no evil one, but I don't have enough time to really like search search because we're going to run out of health if we don't. We don't get a move on. We're going to go oopsie doopsie upside downsy and died. Oh, hey, our vision just shrunk in because we were because our health is low again. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what happens if you can keep up with the game well enough to have like, you know, like full health. Wise creature, it helps her to regain some strength and vigor. Oh, so that one didn't, that didn't, re, that didn't change my sight. That one changed how much health I could hold or something. Interesting. Well, this seems like the only thing over here. So am I supposed to go somewhere else now? Oh, I can come up here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I see it now. Yeah, if my sight was still improved from the bird that I ate, then maybe I would, wouldn't have had any trouble. Her far sight has gone. Okay, so harder to see now. Very interesting. Okay, that looks like it's going to change where we are. So let's head this way. Maybe we can find some more food. Oh, this does too. Guess it doesn't really matter. One way is going to lead me somewhere, and the other way is going to lead me somewhere else. Oh, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Look who's here. Oh, your friend there had left an advice for you. What a thoughtful friend, and expected for, as expected from such an avid mountaineer. You should learn something from her. Am I actually drinking her their blood? Friend helps her to regain some strength and memories from the future? What? Memories from the future? What the heck? Oh, there's another one of the monkeys. Something about a bridge. I can't move. Okay, there we go. Am I actually drinking people's blood then? Like, it's hard for me to figure out what... What here is metaphorical and what here is real? Like, it's very interesting. It's very well done in that aspect, for sure. Oh, it's dark now. Like, it definitely makes you want to ask a lot of questions and makes you, you really curious. Night grows darker. It's dangerous to go further without a light. She should take a rest for now. And was that guy, was the person who I just drank the blood of, was that, like, the guy that she was with before? And what is Fire Mountain? What does it mean? Oh, man. It's so weird. It's just, just kind of bizarre. Oh, hey, water. That was a vision of the future, was, was of a bridge going over water with the monkey. Uh, but it wasn't the monkey I, I... Recognized. It didn't seem to be. Oh, I bet it was the see no evil monkey, but with his hands off of his eyes, so that so the hands were raised instead of. Okay, that would make sense if that's what it was. Okay, here's a bridge, but it's not the bridge from the vision. Man, what is this game? This is so unbelievably interesting in such a weird like creepy existential sort of way. Okay, what's this gonna do for me? Loyal companion helps her to regain some strength and bravery. Okay. Oh, hey, we can kinda, kinda weave our way through some of these trees over here, but not, not well enough to really get anywhere. Um, okay, so none of this is, none of this is the right way. I guess I need to go back the way I came, and, and a ways back, because I hadn't found anything yet. Hmm, weird. There was only one other branching path that I know of, but I guess we have the time to look for it now because we've gotten energy multiple times. Death energy! DEATH ENERGY! Okay, I'll be back whenever I find the right path. Oh, hey, 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 I found this. This kind of slid back in behind some of those trees. Oh, if it's near the wa Oh, this is it! This is it. This is the place. Hey, looky. What took you so long? You should look, took more exercise back then. By the way, to reach further, you need to talk with that monkey friend over there. Remember, everything has a price to pay, even to climb this fire mountain. I'll be waiting for you here. Okay. Funny looking monkey statue would ask something from you. Give 200 drops of blood for, your, for this monkey. Okay. Alrighty. So that's for him to hold. Okay, which we're, that puts us at a, like, at a rough spot, because, but this is, we're no worse off than we were at the beginning, for sure. We just have to hurry. We don't have time to search around or look at anything, because we just have to, 
We just gotta book it now. Hello? Is there, is there any blood for me to drink around these parts? Cause I am parched. Hello, hello? Okay, what does the sign say? Oh, there's a sign. Dead end. Okay, that's kind of what I was afraid of. But hey, this looks like a. This looks like it's not a dead end. It looks like there's a path here. What do we got? Oh, your friend here got a useful tool for you. You should be thankful, even if he has such a tool. Looks like there's something by your feet. You got a hammer. Okay, but I don't have enough blood to get back. I've got to find some blood or I'm going to die. And I don't have enough time. It's, it's, we're going to die. I, I had to give up too much blood. Her bravery was gone. What? I'm so confused. Poop, 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 poop. We got to move, we got to move, we got to move. Come on, there's got to be... Ah, oh, okay, that was startling. That was very startling. Game over. Okay, well, I'm going to try again. This is really interesting. So I'm going to get back there and we're going to see what we can find. Okay, so there was something back here that I didn't get last time. There was some extra blood that I missed, so that's going to be helpful if I can work my way around to it. Quick snack helps you regain a bit of your strength and agility. Okay, oh, and I'm faster now. Oh, that's going to be a big difference later on. So that was this first little pass to the left, which I took right uh, to begin with. So that, that will definitely be helpful to us. And actually, this way is a waste of our time, so I shouldn't have come down here. Okay, I'll check back in after I find more things. Oh, I found the see no evil monkey. A funny looking monkey statue pretends it doesn't see you. Okay, so this time I found this one, which obviously doesn't really help us. It, I just, I knew I hadn't gone that direction last time, so I decided I'd go check it out this time to make sure that it wasn't gonna be more food. It wasn't, but her foresight was gone, okay. Yeah, it wasn't more food, but it could have always been, which would have given us more time, obviously. Okay, so we're back here again, and this time we have closer to 360, so uh, that gives us a lot more to work with. I'm going to see what happens if I say no really quick. Okay, yeah, there's no no secondary option. Just wanted to make sure. But anyway, so that, that puts us at a much more doable place right now, because we have 100 more than we had before. So now we can actually look around enough to find more health without it being a problem. Because that was kind of our issue before, was that, like, we took off in one direction, we got, we found important, inf valuable information that we needed, and we got the hammer, which apparently was something important, and then we didn't have enough time to go find any blood after finding the hammer, because we were out of blood. Which, it's weird that I couldn't get any from, from here, but I'm assuming that that's kind of the point, is that you have to be able to make it here and back out on what you have left. Her bravery was gone. So that's that's uh, one of the abilities that I absorbed from one of the other creatures. There's another path back here, I just realized. So this might be what we need to, to save us, more or less. Um, depending on what we find back here, there could be nothing back here. Oh, there's another one of the monkey statues. Riding on the monkey's tummy. Told you so. Oh, that it's a dead end? Yeah, you jerk. Okay, so I probably just made a, a huge mistake right now. Um, I should have, should not have come back this way since it said it was a dead end. But you just never know if it's going to really be a dead end just because they said it. And also, just because it's a dead end doesn't mean that there's nothing there for me. You know, there still could be a dead animal over there. But we definitely have, you know, I was down to one piece of health at this this moment last time. So we definitely have more health this time than we had last time. So I think we're still okay to find to find some food slash blood, whatever you want to call it, before before we die. Assuming we get somewhere in a hurry. Like, we're not having a lot of luck at the moment, just because it doesn't seem like there's anything in front of us. Ah, here we go! Friend helps her to regain some strength and memories from the future. So another vision of the future. So... All right, what do we got here? Uh, I recognize that path for sure. Okay, yep, okay, so we've been there. So that was just, hey, don't don't forget to look over here. You might find something important. So that was for the hammer. So obviously the hammer is very important for us. And now we have seen the hammer, but we already had the hammer before anyway. <laughs> we did it! 
We were beating the game before the game even knew we were beating it. Night grows darker. It's dangerous to go further without a light. She should take rest for now. So we have seven days is what the title of the game implies. So I'm assuming that if we get to day seven and we haven't reached the peak of the mountain, then we're in trouble? But I don't know for sure. That's that's kind of kind of difficult for me to say for sure. Okay, let's see. I was going this way, I think. Her vigor was gone. Okay, which one was vigor? What is what? Why was why did I have vigor? <laughs> what was it doing for me? It's a really interesting concept that what you eat like imbibes you with different strengths and weaknesses, or well, I guess not really weaknesses, but different strengths. Um, so it's a well thought out idea. I am very interested. Under construction. Okay, so that's where I need the hammer, I assume. So I'm going to head this way really quick because I'm assuming that this is going to be not the way that I need the hammer and therefore it's the way that's going to have just a little bit of food and then turn me back. Um, either that or it is the way with the construction and I use the hammer and it, it gets me through and then I don't have to worry about looking for more food. Whatever it is, it's going to be... Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, boy. I forgot to tell you there was a boulder here, didn't I? Don't worry with such a small problem. You don't need a dynamite to blow them up. Just a good knock from a hammer is good enough. Let's Don't let its size fool you. It's rather fragile and weak, just like... It doesn't sound familiar. It's just like you. <laughs> All right, use that hammer. Bam! That was actually a really cool animation. Really well done. Like, I like that. This game is really pretty. It's super spooky over here. Just a little bit more and you'll reach the summit. Keep going, the fire mountain awaits. It's really spooky and weird and I don't, you know, obviously I'm having trouble getting this, the imagery of it and it's just kind of weirding me out. But the animation and the art of the game is, is very clearly there. And you can tell that they are trying to convey a deeper message. I can't figure out what that deeper message is yet. Maybe because I'm stupid or maybe because they haven't really given me enough information. But... At the end of the day, it is very clear that they're trying to convey something, and it's really interesting. Okay, here's a little something. Quick snack helps you regain a bit of your strength and agility. Okay, that speeds me up. That's good. Nothing is finished. No turning back now. Okay, so don't go back. Uh, okay, night grows darker. It's dangerous to go further. I like, take a rest for now. Okay, so we're running out of days. We're running out of days. Also, where is this camp that she keeps finding that, like, looks identical no matter what part of the mountain I'm on? <laughs> No, I get it. It would be frustrating to, like, create a special place for you for each part of the map that you could be on. Okay, let's just rush. We gotta move quickly if we're gonna, gonna live. Okay, head left. Okay, that was not right. <coughs> left was not right! Go figure! Okay. Definitely getting to the, the, like, more cliffy, like craggy part of the mountain so that does kind of intonate to us that perhaps we're getting close to the summit which is good you know that's obviously what why we're here i guess is to get to oh hey the meter's gone the meter just left which kind of tells me obviously that we're we're about to beat this game we're at the end it doesn't care anymore i've been waiting for you finally we meet again come here closer it's time I'm really afraid that she's gonna hurt herself. I'm really afraid that that's the point of this, is that she, essentially, she didn't, she focused too much on the things in life that didn't matter, and because of that, she's unhappy. And so now she wants to end her life, but that's just never the answer. That's, it just isn't, you know, like, there is there is hope out there. Like, I don't know if that's where the game's going, but I do want to just mention real quickly that there's hope out there. You, you can find the will to keep going because there are good things out in the world. And if, you're, if you look for hope, if you seek uh, wise counsel, and if you, if, you, if you talk to people, then people will point you in the right direction. And, and I really, really uh, encourage you to, to find an outlet for those feelings if, if you're having them. Like, talk to people about them. And, and try to find hope. Try to find a greater purpose. Because I, I think that's a lot of what it comes down to for a lot of people is they feel purposeless. So try to find something that you, that you can have as your purpose. And, and that doesn't mean working and that doesn't mean money. And it doesn't even necessarily mean family. Um, find, a greater, find something greater than yourself to put your trust in.
All right, what do we have here? Yep, I'm afraid that's what it is. Well, that's sad. But maybe she just came up here for enlightenment. Maybe she came up here to try to learn something, and now she's gonna go down and be fine and happy after she drank all the blood of all of the fallen creatures. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah, so I'm I'm really afraid that that's the message. It's hard for me to tell for sure. It was it's obviously a little bit more uh, abstract, which is really neat. It's a really interesting concept. Um, but yeah, like I said, find something greater than yourself. People are temporary and and will never find fulfillment in in money or or even other people. So you have to look for something more than just yourself and more than just people. The story was made for one month during Mojikin Camp. Mojikin Studio 2019. So if you ever find yourself uh, struggling with those thoughts, you know, come talk to people. You can even come talk to me. Come drop a comment in one of my, my videos and I'll, I'll get in contact with you. Um, I, I don't want anyone to ever feel like that's, that's the only answer there is because there's more to it than that. Yeah, there's her backpack. So she left it behind. Why did she feel like she had to go to the top of the mountain? Hmm. All right, well, that was this was seven days in the Fire Mountain. It's a really interesting, very well thought out, very well designed little experience. Very cool stuff, great artwork, very uh, evocative as far as uh, it, like, a feelings that the feelings they want you to feel, you know, they want you to feel like it's this death march. They want you to feel like it's sad and hard. And I think that's obviously because they want to kind of put you in the shoes of someone who's going through this, but, but it's hard. So if, if you're struggling with any of those things yourself, then uh, don't let this get you down. Um, instead, find hope in other things. So Anyway, I want to thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I, I really did enjoy this, even though it was a darker experience. Um, and I, I hope that, that the people who come here looking for a dark experience can still find hope in what I say or what I do. Uh, and, and if you're looking for something to cheer you up, then I have plenty of things on my channel that can that can try to give you like the happy, fuzzy feelings. So uh, I do invite you to try some of those out if, if you're feeling a little down now. Um, and, and talk it out, you know. Don't just... Don't just self-medicate your sadness with happy videos, but actually talk them out. Um, but uh, to, the, to the creators of the game, excellently done. Like I said, a lot of really good artwork and stuff put into this game. and You can tell a lot of love and feeling was put into it. So I really appreciate it for those things and that it really does convey artwork, uh, convey emotion the way other forms of art do. So... Uh, and to you, the viewer, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, we will see you in the next one. For now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Remember that games are art, and art is important. And so are you. You're important too. Sayonara.